Let me tell you about this chick from the west coast Light skin, baby hairs, but she do the most She like to bounce that ass on her tippy toes She even tried to make me eat her out before I stroke She get evil, deadly down What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel It is your girl Raquel Ashley Oh, what's good? So, anyways, as you can see, I have a lot of videos and follow me on my one social media that I do have until my six month plan is over. Anyway, now that we have that settled, once again, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and share with your family and whoever else you like and whoever else you don't like. Anyway, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, I will be showing you how to make spaghetti and the ninja foodie. I've learned this um, from this YouTuber. I'll tag her information in the bottom. Um, and ever since I learned that, I've been making it for my family this way. And it's so quick and it's so easy. So, let's get into it. Alright, y'all. So, this is my Ninja Foodie. It's a 12-in-1. Um, I'll get into the features later. I won't do that right now. Um, but what we're going to do first is we're going to preheat our Ninja Foodie. Excuse my nail. I broke it. We're going to preheat our Ninja Foodie. Mm, the fuck is going on we're going to preheat our ninja foodie to the sear and saute and we're going to leave it on high when it press okay up. guys so while this is heating up it's not hot yet i'm going to add a little bit of avocado oil it's getting hot you can hear it like searing and then to that i'm going to add my onions that i chopped up this is red onion shout i love me some red onions so guys i am using ground beef i'm just going to put the whole thing in there just like that all right y'all so here i have the sazon goya i don't know if i'm saying it right the sazon goya the package i use both of these i like them both child so i'm gonna just use both of them it makes your food taste good anyway we're gonna stir that all up we want that meat to look good y'all look at that anyway i hope you guys are having a wonderful new year's um i hope you have your new year's resolutions all set and ready to go because baby this year is gonna come and fly as it went it's gonna fly just as quick as it can All right, y'all. So I think I, I see a little bit more meat, um, pink in my meat. So I'm gonna cook that a little longer. All right, y'all. So I have my green peppers and my red peppers. I'm gonna add that. Don't want nothing falling because we're gonna add that and we're gonna let that cook in there too. And I like to cut my um, peppers a little bit bigger because I actually like to taste my peppers and my spaghetti. Like I don't like them little ass peppers, so I cut them a little big. Okay guys, so I see no more pink in my meat. So what I'm going to do now is start adding the rest of the ingredients. So I forgot to show you this in the beginning. I have some diced tomatoes. It's basil, garlic, and oregano. And I'm just going to add this in there. Y'all, I'm not going to touch that. I'm going to just like kind of spread it on top. I'm not going to mix it in because I don't want no tomatoes to get at the bottom and then they burn. So I'm going to just leave it just like that. All right, y'all, so I know it looks a little watery, but don't worry about none of that because trust me, it's going to come together great. Don't even worry about none of that. So I'm adding the, um, oh, it's already dripping in there. The beef broth that I told you guys about, I'm gonna just add that right in there. I already added one off of, off of camera, off of the camera. So I'm gonna add the rest of the two. I ordered, I got two, um, I'm sorry, I got three. They didn't, I normally get the big ones of these, but they didn't have them, so I had to get the three little cans. Now we're gonna add the tomato sauce. Now it's time to add the noodles. Let's add the noodles. But check this out, this is how y'all gotta do this because y'all can't just put the whole thing in there because unless y'all want clumps, then go ahead, but you can't be adding everything in there. So you're gonna take a little bit at a time and I'm gonna show y'all how y'all gonna do this. So you're gonna take it, you're gonna break it, and then you're gonna kinda just come like this. Right, and then go this way. So don't put them right on top of each other. You wanna go the opposite way. Y'all, I'm really over here dropping my food. Okay, so I went that way, so it's time to go this way. All 
All right, so what you want to do next, you want to take whatever you was using to cook it and just push it in. But you don't want to push it in to where your noodles break. So, so you just want to make sure everything is submerged. Okay? Everything is submerged. All right, so the, the um, next one is we want to add the tomato paste. Make sure you do not cut yourself, child. We just gonna leave it right on top, y'all. Listen, trust the process. I know this is like all weird and stuff, but trust the process. And for our final ingredient, we're gonna just add a table or a spoonful of minced garlic. All right, now guys, so it's time to bring it to pressure. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna put your pressure cooker lid on. You wanna put your pressure cooker lid, pressure lid on. We're gonna make sure that the seal, that the, I'm sorry, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see. All right. We're going to make sure that this thing, I don't know what it's called, but we're going to make sure it's to the seal because we don't want nothing coming out. So now we have to bring it to pressure. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop this. Stop it. Then we're going to go to pressure. And we're going to cook it for five minutes. But it's going to cook a little longer than that because it still has to come to pressure. So we don't want to press start. And... That's how you put everything in there. So it's coming up to pressure right now. Um, it's going to take a few minutes to come up to pressure. It's probably going to take about like, I don't know, like 10 minutes maybe to come up to pressure. So when that comes up to pressure, I'll come right. All right, boos. So it just came up to pressure. Um, yo, it took like 10 minutes to do. I swear to God, it took so long to do. Um, so we're going to let it cook for these five minutes. Um, I do want to let you guys know that it's a keep warm button right here. It's right here. If you can't see, it's right here. Um, when you put your, uh, food in, because you want to naturally let it really, you want to, let me get myself together, child, because I'm over here talking crazy. You want to naturally let this release the steam. You want to naturally release before you move the seal. So you want to hit this twice once and then a second time and then it's going to take off the keep warm because it's naturally going to default to the keep warm and then you but you don't want your noodles to overcook so that's another reason why you also want to do um do that as well you don't have to but i recommend it and um <clears throat> i also wanted to let you guys know because i have a larger family than a lot of people um i cook mine for five minutes i wouldn't cook this no less than three minutes but no more than five however you are more than more than welcome to experience it. it's your house do what you want but that's just my recommendation so we're gonna let this cook for the next three minutes that shit is hot why the fuck did i do that damn so we're gonna um let this cook for the next three minutes and then we all right y'all so we're gonna naturally release this now um not naturally we're gonna we're gonna release it physically now and just be careful because this shit does is hot. So we're just gonna switch it to the vent. It's gonna come out. And you let that release. I'm not sure how long it actually is gonna take to release, but it is 706. And I'll let you guys know how long it took to release. When so I it is done naturally releasing. It took exactly eight minutes to naturally release. So, I mean, not to naturally release. I keep saying natural. It took exactly eight minutes for me. When I released it, it took exact eight minutes for everything to done being released. So, let's see. All right, y'all. So, I know it looks soupy. Do not be alarmed. Do not be alarmed. So, do not be alarmed. Trust the process. So, I'm going to add some of these red pepper flakes in there. A lot, and then I'm gonna add a couple spoons of um, sugar, only because um, the tomato paste make it bitter. So I don't want my shit all bittery. So I'm gonna add a couple spoonfuls of these. It's a lot of sugar, but it is what it is. And this is organic sugar. My sister told me about this, child, and I love it. It's so good. All right. So what we're gonna do now is just stir it all together. <gasps> See, we just want we want every we want to mix everything up now. Everything is gonna be mixed up, and we're gonna let it sit again. But we want to make sure we let the um tomato paste mix in there. So, child, the noodles look so good. Oh my god, it looks so good. 
And it, yo, when it was releasing, chow, it smelled so good. I'm like, I cannot wait to eat this crab. Like, ugh. and mind you, we mixing everything in here: the tomato paste, the tomato sauce, the tomatoes, the peppers, the um. Ooh, y'all, it looks so good. <laughs> I'm hungry. I didn't really eat today. I ate earlier around like 11 o'clock and that was it. But I'm hungry now. So we just want to mix everything. Make sure the tomato paste is in there. And then we're going to let it sit for another 10 minutes. And that will thicken it. Alright my love. So it is officially done. Um, I did let it sit for 10 minutes. Because I wanted to make sure that it all thickened up. So, you ready? What did I tell y'all? It was gonna thicken up. I told you. Look at that. It is, yo, it's just really saucy. I promise y'all, it is not soupy. I promise y'all. It is not soupy. Oh my God, look at all. It just looks so good, y'all. All right, so we're gonna taste. All right, y'all, so. Here is the finished product. It's like a lot. Y'all can see that. Let's taste this. I'm so hungry. I want the tomato and the pepper. It's still hot. Mmm. Y'all, it is so good. It is so good. It is delicious, y'all. Oh my God. Make sure you blow it first. Don't just eat it right away. Mm. Noodles is well done. Everything is well done. I may have a salad with this. Y'all, it's delicious. It's delicious. But, um, you guys, thank you for watching my video. Until next time, this video will be up on Friday. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. And also, follow me on my social media. Bye.